Welcome to Sarasar Art Nation. My name is Frank. So in this video, we are going to be reviewing another FX tablet. And I wasn't planning on doing this video. I wasn't planning on uh, reviewing another tablet so soon right after the uh, XP Pen G430S, uh, which I had uh, recently gotten. So uh, I was not planning on getting another tablet, but I saw this one on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, it looked it looked impressive and the price wasn't uh, too high it was higher than uh, the uh, the small XP pen and higher than the uh, uh, the Galman tablet you know it it just looked looked impressive and I'll talk more about that uh, as the video goes on uh, so um, I already done the unboxing the, uh, when I got in, in the original package. It's going to be a triple unboxing. That's three, three products, three separate reviews. So yeah, that's something that's coming up. I'm doing a, a few videos simultaneously. So you will be seeing a, uh, you know, my shirt changing back and forth. Uh, I might be wearing this in another video. I might be wearing a different shirt. Let's get. Let's get into this video. All right, so let's get into the unboxing. I can open this, open this baby up. All right, so as I said in the beginning, uh, these are three different art products, but they're gonna each be getting their own video, their own review. Um, you can see one of the products there. I'll just let you guess what what that is. Uh, the video is coming up uh, pretty soon. And there is the uh, Deco 2 by XP Pen. You can got a sneak peek at the third one there. Oh, it's gone. All right, so um, that's the back front of the box, back of the box. All the all the stats, all the information is on there. Alright, so let's take it out of its sleeve. And, uh, there we go, XP pad. <laughs> and that is the tablet itself. Now it comes with a uh, 10 by 5.63 inch uh, uh, surface. You know, it's uh, it's good for both right-handed and left-handed users, and it has a six. Uh, customizable express keys I haven't really used those yet um, as I as I use it on on my own time uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably customize those so uh, one of the new features this has is the that silver roller you know it just uh it just makes uh, makes using it a little bit more uh, streamlined. So, so yeah, you can use it with just a roller like that, or you can put that little green knob on it, and that turns that into a dial. Uh, you know, I had fun using it. It it really it worked well. You know, made things a little simpler, a little easier. I wasn't stumbling around looking for the zoom in zoom out uh, zoom out function it was right there uh, on the tablet itself uh, so yeah so yeah and also uh, it has that hole in the middle because uh, you can hang this up you can probably put it like on a coat hanger or something so it takes uh, it, it it doesn't take up space you know you can just uh, hang it up on your wall take it down when you need to use it and uh, there you're, you're good to go so it comes with all the regular stuff there's the there's the the green stopper that goes in onto the roller it comes with a charging cable that connects to the your your tablet to the desktop or laptop there I am showing off the the dial, 
and it comes with uh, the usual information the uh, the warranty card the the, uh, the user guide the uh, thank you note so all that all that regular stuff and it also comes with a anti fouling glove there's a uh, yeah all that all that stuff and there's the glove so yeah so it, you know it, it's a uh, it's a nice glove uh, I do use it in the video so. right so as I was saying uh, you can customize this to uh, left-handed um, so I don't think the uh, the express keys will will interfere if you're using this as a left-handed user. Um, they're small, they're round, uh, they're they're not very they're not intrusive, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. And this is for Windows and Mac, so that's a plus. And the uh, the the stylus is a, uh, a passive battery free stylus so you don't need to put any batteries you don't need to charge it up uh, as soon as you install your driver and then and, uh, hook up the tablet it is good to go you can start drawing uh, uh, right away you don't, you don't need to wait for for the stylus to charge up do gotta wait to download the driver but after that it's easy peasy so I'm a, I'm a big fan of this stylus uh, this actually makes it easier for for traditional artists to get into digital art uh, you know you know getting getting used to it a little better because it looks and feels like like a pencil it has a, a he hexagon shape so you can get a nice nice grip on it and the eraser is on the, the top and it works just like an eraser on a regular pencil you just turn turn it uh, upside down and start erasing off your tablet and it feels like you're just using a pencil and it comes with that really nice uh, stand and I, I dropped the the stylus there but you know it was all good it just fell into the box it's, it didn't get damaged it comes with eight replacement nibs and it all fits in that uh, big case so right so here's the tablet itself and I put that uh, plastic covering that it came in uh, underneath just so you could see it it was the tablet was bent blending into the desk all right so we're gonna start using it right. now there, there we go and see I got my glove on it's, I'm ready I got my my pen in hand and now we're gonna open up Autodesk sketchbook so I was doing tests uh, uh, you know, I was testing out the stylus testing out the the sensitivity and I did uh, run into some problems some glitches it, when I uh, be drawing the circles really quickly there would be a gap it didn't happen too often but uh, I think maybe like two or three times so I switched over to fire alpaca because I wanted to see whether it was the software or the har hardware now there's the settings you can uh, customize it there customize the buttons customize the pen you want to right click left click whatever uh, turn into a left-handed now here I am using fire alpaca and 
I already had a a brush that I was using, so just uh, resizing it. All right, so as you can see, uh, I didn't run into any problems when I was using it with Fire Alpaca. Um, I probably will uninstall S Sketchbook and then reinstall it. Maybe, maybe that was the issue. But the tablet itself was working fine and dandy. So, uh, I'm just gonna be drawing a a little character that uh, I came up with. A friend of mine actually suggested the name, uh, so I just uh, did a design based off the the name itself, and uh, and that might be a character that um, I'll I'll use. Uh, for other videos and so yeah all right so the let's talk about the tablet oh there's the uh, the roller function or zooming in zooming out all right, all right so uh, talking we're talking about we're talking about the software so this is actually compatible with most uh, graphic softwares, uh, Photoshop, Painter, Sci, Illustrator. Um, so I think uh, it, Sketchbook might be one that isn't totally compatible, uh, but I, I'll find that out later. I'll, I'll uninstall it and reinstall it as I said. Uh, I, I didn't find any problems with the uh, tablet itself. It worked. It worked great. Uh, when I was using it, it it didn't feel like I needed to uh, readjust to to learn it. It just felt natural. Using the roller uh, was uh, it was good. Uh, the pen. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, I really like this uh, this pen. I like the design a lot. I think uh, other companies need to start using this pen. <laughs> That's just my opinion. All right. So as I, as I was saying, if you're starting out into a digital art, then uh, I think this would be a good a good transitional tablet for you. Um, it is eighty dollars on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to that below. Oh, by the way, I am not sponsored. Uh, I'm. Th this is not a sponsored video. So, um, but yeah, the link will be uh, will be uh, listed below, and I'll also put a link to the uh, uh, G four three zero S if you wanna take a look at at that while you're there. Um, it, if you're concerned about the price, then I would go with the uh, G430S. And there's other tablets that are that are cheaper that are just as good. So just uh, just do your research. So as uh, I mentioned, the G430S that is more of a gaming tablet, but it can be used for uh, graphics. Uh, so this one, the Deco 2, is uh, mainly a uh, graphics tablet. It, it is it is a graphics tablet. It, it does. I don't know if you can use it for gaming, but uh, its its primary purpose is for graphic design. It is for drawing. <laughs> so uh, so th if. It felt really nice. It felt really professional. So, so man, I I really have nothing but good things to say. Uh, I will be using it more. So if I come up across any uh, new problems, anything else, I will make a follow-up video. I I probably will do a follow-up video uh, later on, just so you can see. 
uh, how it's uh, held up but uh, that was it so if you like this video please uh, subscribe please support this channel and uh, I'll see you soon bye